What is going on, my people? You know who it is. It's the one, the only, never duplicated Solano of Peru. To my new subscribers, welcome to that S to the old fan. Thank you guys so much for joining me. It does really mean a lot that you guys are here. Now, if you happen to be new to this channel and you like fragrance-related content, please hit that subscribe button. If not, I'll gladly appreciate it if you just guys, if you guys just smash that thumbs up button. But anyway, let's get on with the review and let's get it popping. Right here, we have our my ten milky fragrances. I did this before, but I forgot to mention one fragrance and I didn't like the way the video was coming, so I had to do it over. So at number 10, we have Dua's Oh Baby. This is a inspiration from Cry Baby by Maladina, Madeline Martinez, butchered the name. And this one's exactly, if you smelled the Cry Baby or you heard about Cry Baby Milk, this is exactly what you get. Not similar, not a one-to-one, -one, but this one will have to do. This one's basically a strawberry milk. Exactly. And since this is a lectonic video, this one will have to do it. It's at number 10, loader of the totem pole, because, you you know, intimidation, inspirations, clones, whatever you want to call it, never match up one-to-one. -one. So this one will have to do as of right now, because I'm not spending a $1,000 on a fragrance. Hopefully, I heard that they're coming back with it, but we'll see as we go on. That's at number 10. Oh Baby by Dua Fragrances. And number nine, you get Immortel by Atenas. And this, what you get here is some burnt sugar, some peanut butter, and some milk right here. This one's an excellent fragrance if you like that combination, the peanut butter and the milk. Perfect combination if you're eating that with your peanut butter and jelly. But this is not jelly. It just has peanut butter and that milk and that electronicness, that creaminess, that sugary vibe that you get. This one's perfect, perfect for the winter too. And the fall, Immortel by a tennis at number nine. And number eight, you get Count by Zoologist. This one's right here, what you get, this nice green metallic milky fragrance. Grassy is the greenness that you get. You get that metallicness and you get that milk from cow. If you guys don't know about Zoologists, what they're trying to create here is their habitat and actually cow. What else does a cow? Produce milk, and this is exactly what you get. Milk green metallic fragrance is what you get in this one at number eight. At number seven, you get Madeline by Masque Milano, and what you get here is basically some hazelnut, some milk, some florals, but to me, this is exactly what reminds me if you guys been to Wawa and you guys get that milk, that uh, hazelnut, hazelnut coffee, and you put the hazelnut, this is exactly what reminds me, the hazelnut creamer. This is exactly what reminds me. This will remind me exactly of my that hazelnut coffee that you get at Wawa with the milky components in this one. At number seven, you get Madeline's by Masque Milano. At number six, you get Haracha de Vanille by Sphinx. This one exactly what you get. What the name what it says. You get some Haracha, some vanilla, some cinnamon. That milkiness that you get from that Haracha, that rice water with that milk, the cinnamon, and the vanilla is exactly what you get in this fragrance. If you're a fan of Haracha and you like this, that Mexican drink, this is exactly what this reminds you of. Milk and cinnamon are the star components of this fragrance. So check it out if you guys are in love with that type of fragrance. Haracha de Vanille by Sphinx. At number five, Glam London Vanilla Crest. This is a great fragrance if you like milky sugary fruity floral fragrances is exactly what you get in this fragrance at number five glam's london's vanilla crust at number four you got chabot's lay de biscuit and this one exactly smells like a biscuit with some milk components a little bit of sugar and a little bit of vanilla in there this one's exactly reminds me of if you dip your biscuit in a uh, milk and that's exactly what you smell. The business, the biscuit and the milk combination is beautiful with a little bit of sugar and a little bit of vanilla. And number four, we get Chabot Liquid Lit de Biscuit. And number three, you get Blanche Bet by Liquid Imaginaire. And to me, what I exactly get, it is a rice pudding fresh out the oven with a little bit of coconut flakes with some beachy vibes is exactly what I get in this fragrance rice pudding milk beachy vibes a little bit of coconut flakes on it blanche bet at number three at number two we get bianco latte giardini de toscano this one right here milky caramel honey vanilla 
fragrance is what you get this there's a little bit of powderiness this one's a compliment getter a little bit of uh to me you get a little bit of vibes lira and <laughs> lira is what you get from me. i do get some lira vibes in this one and it is a nice fragrance very complimented in my in my collection it's one of my most complimented fragrances that i get it's beautiful it's nice and well worth the hype a lot of ladies love it and i have got the compliments one of this girl i like that i worn it loved it so i always wear it when i'm around her just because she likes it so she can smell me and say i smell sexy at number two bianco latte Gennardini de Toscana. and number one to me at least to me you get italica by Casa Marotti. this one needs no introduction this is you know exactly what this get milky toffee cherry amaretto vibes is what you get with this one beautiful fragrance another one of my most complimented fragrances that i love to wear in the winter this one was worth the hype to me and worth the buy to me when it first came out i fell in love with it at first sniff it was a blind buy and mm, i love it mm, mm, mm. If you guys haven't smelled this one, you don't know what you're missing. I'm sure there's a lot of people that like it. I'm sure there's a lot of people that hate it. But to me, I love it. Casamorata Italica at number one. Let me know what are your favorite electronic fragrances. What are your favorite notes in fragrances? And I will read you down in the bottom. And as always, wear what you want, buy what you want. And I will definitely see you next time. And if I don't, it's probably because you're not subscribed. Remember, just because it's niche doesn't mean it's always good. And just because it's designer doesn't mean it's always bad. Peace. I'm out of here. You know who it is. Thank a king of this game.